Hello everyone, thank you for stopping by. This is Sandy from Color Creatively and this video is being made in tribute to Hannah Carlson. Uh, we in the co coloring community uh, were given news that she has a serious, very serious illness and so we're each doing a video showing you the books that we have purchased that she has drawn and some of the pictures that we've completed as a support for Hannah Carlson. So let's get started. And I'm going to start with the book here on the top. And uh, let me pile these up. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of her books. And I do not know if that's all of them, but we'll go through what I have. I would have liked to be able to color in more of them. Let me put that there. It just didn't fit. Okay, Midnight Masquerade. Uh, let me show you what I've done in this book. I have colored, let me get it out here. Um, this double page spread. And uh, I use Graphitant pencils, stencils soft chalk pastel, uh, Posca pen. Um, I don't know what pencils I use now. I never recorded that, what colored pencils for detailing. Okay. And then I did this picture, and I even have, I think, a video on this. Now, this picture, I don't remember. I think she had a ring in her lip or her nose or the cat too. So I removed those with some special fluid that I have and then I was able to color them because I didn't like that and I thought they looked much better without it. And this is with Graphitent pencils, uh, some chalk pastels in the background. I don't know what the colored pencils were that I used on here. Um, but anyway, that's that one. And then I made this into a double page spread. I was very, very unhappy with my frog. I decided to detail with black. Wrong. And I was using too dark of a green. So uh, maybe even if the green would have been there and I didn't detail with black, I would have been fine. But uh, again, Graphitent on these frames. Um, I've got some... Uh, gel pen that's clear sparkle on the raindrops or these jewels hanging off her umbrella and chalk pastels in the background and I cannot tell you what the pencils were that I used. Okay, I never recorded that. Okay, let me put these away. Now, the next book that I have in her collection is Dreams daydreams and I've done this picture here I'm going to take those out as we go I've done this picture here of the rabbit and this is a stencil I used in the background with chalk pastels and you can't really see the detail in the stencil uh, because I used such a light chalk and it was probably the wrong stencil for that but Anyway, it gave it some color. And um, again, my folk art extreme glitter paint and the ears of the rabbit on the flowers here. And I know you can't really see that. There we go. There's some sparkle. Okay. Then I did this as a double page spread, although it wasn't intended to be. And this was my first attempt at uh, really making clouds with my own homemade stencil and I put a little too many clouds in the sky but all in all it's okay um, and chalk pastels in the background I do not know the colored pencils I used okay and um, folk art extreme glitter paint in some of the flower centers here and then in this book I have this little princess and there's glitter on her chair and on her crown. 
And I really, really enjoyed this picture, all of these pictures. And then in this book, I colored this as a double page spread. And uh, I had fun with the mushrooms. And it's just chalk pastel in the background. On the raindrops, are they glittery? No, I didn't get glitter on those, but they're darker. Okay, let's move on. My next book is Magical Dawn. And in this book, I, I've only colored this one thing. Oh, let me... Um, I made this a double page spread. And I used stencils in the background and a chalk pastels, Mongyo. Her dress was all soft pastels, and then I just detailed with a Prismacolor. I do remember that. And I did the shells with Prismacolor, too. I do remember doing that. Okay. My next book that I worked in was Spirit Animals. And I really, really liked doing these pictures. I had uh, this as a double page spread. And I made the girl's scarf and hair, like the lemur over here, the same colors, because this is supposed to be her spirit animal, I guess, or look alike, whatever you want to call it. And again, my soft chalk pastels and stencils in the background. Over here on this one, this one I had a blast doing. At first, I was a little afraid to do this gal that has a ring in her nose and leopard skin and the leopard's here. Um, but I also found out that I had some uh, neon watercolor. This is done in watercolor. You can hear the pages crinkly and a little wrinkle, but it's okay. And her hair, everything was done in watercolor, and then I detailed with pencils, except the background, and that was all done. I wanted it to look dark and smoky and uneven um, with chalk pastels. And there's glitter on the jewels from her, on her spikes on her outfit, and from the animal here. This one I had a blast doing. I really, really love this one. I'm going to do more pictures from Hannah Carlson. I love her artwork. And of all her books, this is my favorite book. And this one is Summer Nights. Um, I probably work the most in it. I made this into a double page spread. And with stencils in the background, Posca pen for the dots on the flowers, uh, highlights on the flowers here, and my wooden door. And um, I just had a blast doing this one. Then um, I use Graphitent pencils on these keys to make them look old. And I put them on a wood paneling because they're hanging and um, then this is a hanging on a wood paneling also. They use the same background with the bumblebee. And there's some Folk Art Extreme Glitter Hologram on. Now, hologram is the only one you can use that will go over every color. And then I did this bug. I enjoy coloring her bugs. And I used a stencil to make it look like it's on cracked concrete or cement, or it could be a wall, who knows, or the ground, and a shadow. I shadowed around him, so the sun is shining straight on. This one is the spider uh, here, and the jewel with the glitter on it. And this guy's got some glitter on him. And the stencil I had is called Scribbles. And that's the first time I've ever used the black 
chalk pastel with the red, but I think it came out okay to represent this spooky spider. Spiders are spooky to me. <laughs> I don't like them. Okay, love to color them, but I don't like to be with them. And this guy here, the owl, came out looking great with the crystals. And my background, again, was a stencil and chalk pastels. That is my favorite watercolor, number one. Number two, chalk pastels are my favorite art supplies. And then pencils. Well, i got to have pencils to use the other two. So they're all three my favorite supplies. I finally learned how to do a gemstone here. And um, I didn't put a crack in it, though. That would have made it look more realistic. And I put him on a brick wall, and I uh, actually made a shadow around him. He's on the wall, and the sun is beating down. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, and that is uh, also made this into a double page spread. You know, when I get a book and I color one side, I really like to do the other side if possible. Again, my chalk pastels for the background and the stencils. And uh, some gold glitter gel pen there. The jewel, the, and these jewels, I put a little... Um, Posca pen to highlight it. So I had fun doing that. Okay, and this guy's got gemstones too. I learned how to do those. I was real happy with that. And I put him on a cracked wall. Now I did this background and I've never done the girl. So this may be my whip that I do this coming month. Okay, let me put this book aside. I love it. Um, let's see what the next one is here. Hmm, how come I don't have it marked? Well, this one is next. And uh, the raindrops are dark, but I also have them sparkly because I used the uh, Sparkle Pop gel pen in blue. And uh, I like the way he this bird came out. And then I did this the same as the one in the front of the book. I did the keys looking old-fashioned, an old metal, with Graphitent pencils. The frame is with Graphitent. The jewels are with Prismacolor. And um, soft chalk pastels in the background and colored pencils for the image, images. These are watercolor, uh, these graphite tint. And then I did this one. Now, I got better at the jewel there. You can see it. It has a crack in it. it has cr it's cracked. And that gives it a more real, and then some white Posca there. That gives it a more realistic look. And so, uh, again, soft pastels in the background. Among you, and I've got a glitter gel pen here going, and on his jewels on his neck. And then I did this at the back of the book. I made this, oh, it's not a double page spread, but I carried over the same theme of all the keys in this book will be done with graphitant to make them look old, like old metal. And I really enjoyed coloring this girl here. I just thought it was a cute picture. And um, this is all pencil, all of it. So I believe that's it for that book. Now, the last three books that I have, Jewelry Box, Forest Kingdom and Seasons. I have never worked in these books. And sorry to say that. Um, I was uh, through different seasons in my life of sickness and illness and taking time off from my channel. And at that time, I never colored. So um, these are goals for me is to work in some of these books by Hannah Carlson. 
Well, I hope you've enjoyed my flip through of my completed pictures and uh, this video and honor and support of Hannah Carlson. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments section below. And until we meet again, happy coloring.